Can you talk a little bit about like what informs your your paintings, what informs your practice? Well, you know, I'm not I don't I never went to school. I never I never went I was offered scholarships and stuff. I turned them down for whatever reason or why, I don't know. But um no no no. I I everything I've done I've done on my own. I taught myself. I'm self taught. I never went to no school. No school can put a name on me. You know. What what's there is what I've done. I did it myself. That's all. So what drew you to working in the sort of woodland style? I know you do. I knew you do your port, you know, portraits. And um, Verna mentioned that you uh, started out uh, doing oil portraits. I, I I suppose I was starstruck. Uh-huh. You know, I really liked that. You know, the rock paintings and all that. I knew about all that. I eh? I wanted to learn more. You know, and just something that appealed to me. Yeah, no, no, no. It was it was all good. Um, you know, I'm a visionary. That was always in my art, you know. When I saw that artwork, you know, it, it appealed to my mind. You know, everything, you know, I appreciate. I saw it out to uh, venture on this journey, and uh, it led me where I am today. Are there any aspects of? Um your family or your community that influenced your work? The only one that influenced me was Arthur Schilling. He's my uh, mother's uh, first cousin. And he's well known. He's got the Rama skyscraper and all that. But I met him and all that. I did the odd job for him, you know. We'll look after his dog and a little bit around the house, whatever. You know, that's all right. And I'm glad I did that. But I, I came back here because I was taken away when I was young, like uh, four years old. My mother and father had an argument, and that was it. I was I was in Peterborough, Ontario. I was in Guelph, Ontario, Toronto, Barrie, Midland. I was all over the place. I hitchhiked back up here. I said, no, this is where I want to be. First, I had to meet Arthur. I, I made it a point to go and see him first. You know, like any rock star um, observant would. Hey, I mean, does that experience of being uh, sort of, you know, removed from your family does that inf- is that present in your work? Well, of course it is. I, I believe it is because um, you know that's a lot of years. Like I came back when I was seventeen. I hitchhiked. Some truckers brought me to Barry, and I stayed in Barry for a couple of weeks at my. Uh, Step parents' place, and, and then I hitchhiked the rest of the way. Well, I walked most of it actually. But then I went to see my dad. I hadn't seen him in years, you know. How was that reunion? That was good, you know. They actually came back. You know, they tried to keep me away from him. You know, thought he was bad. I guess. You know, he drinks too much. He does this. He does that. Rah, rah, rah. It doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't matter. And I, I was good friends with him when he passed. No, 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 no. And he appreciated me, you know. He told me I'm scared, he says, when he was about to die. You know, he says, don't worry about it. He says, it's okay. You know, he's coming back anyway. I believe in reincarnation. I don't believe in the Holy Bible and anything like that. We come back many thousands of generations. You know, it's, it's nothing to be scared of. You know, that's what my paintings are based on, basically. Reincarnation, regenerative nonsense so you call it you know so can you talk a bit about like the um your use of color in your because yours are very full very very full of color well a lot of the inspiration come from arthur you know you know i i I always enjoyed arthur's painting every time i saw an arthur Schilling painting wow that is just magnificent Magnifico. <laughs> you know, I just, there's no words to explain. You know, and I wanted to do that. He's, he's my greatest inspiration. You know, and then, you know, more so it was more the shamanic journey. You know, and then, you know, I, I, we live with his apprentice. It's all right. He'd tell me the tales and all the stuff, so it's okay. Time he's telling me this tale there. They were in the middle of the bush. More so in Brian Marion were in the middle of the bush, in the middle of nowhere. Saskatchewan, I believe, where Brian comes from. And he more so called out all the animals in the woods. 
there was deer, there was everybody. They all were in a circle, like they're in lesson, like in, in school. You know, I more so started orating to them and all this, and, you know, and then it was done. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. You know, I paint that stuff once in a while. So do you do you find that um, your your painting is a spiritual practice? Well, a spiritual practice, maybe not more so, but um, it's maybe um, it uh, maybe more akin to therapy. You know, now I, I can paint. You know, sit down there and. Get my brush working away, and I'm thinking millions and billions and trillions of thoughts. And you know, and, you know I work it out, and then by the time the painting's done, there it is. But it's all in there. <laughs>